All right, this is, we're working on a um, double wall oven and the customer's complaint was that the top oven wasn't um, heating up. And the thing that this particular oven has is a resettable thermostat. And it's that guy right there. The top oven and the bottom oven both have them. Um, and sometimes all you have to do is push the button and reset it. Sometimes they'll just completely blow. Um, but if you are able to access this by yourself, then that's great. Um, if not, you might have to get someone to help you pull the oven out. And um, what I use to get it out is my newest addition to the Appliance Guy fleet, this um, hydraulic table lift. Uh, it's rated up to 500 pounds and you just crank it up however you want to and uh, this guy right here pumps it up and then this guy right here drops it down so hope this helps you in your training on double wall ovens thanks what's up everybody so uh just tried out my hydraulic table cart that i bought from Northern, or not Northern, uh, Harbor Freight. And I wanted to do a little review of it. I'm gonna post a video of it actually in the customer's house. The customer let me film, you know, me pulling the oven out with it. Uh, wasn't the greatest video, but either way, you'll be able to see uh, it in action. There's only one complaint I have about this thing. It is heavy as freaking crap. Like, I don't even remember being that heavy when I bought it, but it has really good solid casters on it, wheels on it, and, you know, they didn't mark up the customer's floor. I did, I, I was a little leery of that, so I did put floor protection down underneath of it. I laid a, uh, laid my blanket down and just put the, uh, hydraulic table cart on top of the blanket, but as far as performance goes... 10 out of 10, you know, like I was easily able to, um, you know, get it in place, get the oven on a double Frigidaire, double wall oven on top of it. I would suggest not the anti slip guard thing, which I don't know why I didn't think about this, but take that off. You don't need that thing. Just, I, you could probably just throw that thing away, but all you need is the bare metal. It's going to slide a lot easier. So, uh, the anti-slip guard thing just got in the way, so I wouldn't even use that, but it worked good. I, I was happy with it. I bought it at Harbor Freight. I think it was like 160 or 170 bucks. It's, it's up, rated up to 500 pounds. Uh, I don't know how much a double wall oven weighs, but I know it's not 500 pounds. So, you don't need the 1,000 pound rated one. You only need the 500 pound rated one. Um, and it's good enough, you know, if you're, if you're just getting started and you're a single man operation, it fits on my van. I have it with me every day. The only complaint I have about it, but it is kind of a major complaint, is that joker is heavy. Now, if you need it for like in your shop, it would be, it, it's an ideal tool for a shop. Uh, if you have an appliance shop or, or, or any, really any type of shop where you need to uh you know move things around this thing's this thing's badass so i'd give it uh an eight out of ten stars on my tool rating the only reason it doesn't get 10 stars is because it uh was heavy as balls and i i, I think what i'm gonna do is figure out a way to rig it up to my little foldable hand truck that I use and wheel it in with wheel it up to the customer's front door with that. And then once you get it in the customer's house, the casters on it, the wheels on it are nice enough that you could literally roll it through the customer's house and not worry about it. Like as long as you made sure they were clean and no, you know, gravel on them or anything crazy like that. Uh, which that's a good idea to do anytime you put a dolly or any type of wheel on somebody's floor in a house. 
I learned that when I used to do uh, work for a moving company. You always want to make sure your dolly doesn't have any, or, or the wheels of whatever you're rolling doesn't have any rocks or anything. You scratch up some hardwood floors. That's another video I should probably talk about is floor protection. Because uh, we'll talk about that in another video. Floor protection is extremely important. You don't want to go into these customers' house jacking up their floors. But back to the hydraulic table cart, it was good. It was it worked great. A job where I would have normally had to um, call another guy in, I was able to do it with ease by myself. The hardest part of the whole job was lugging that heavy SOB inside. And... Uh, what I'm going to do in the future, this was its maiden voyage, and the guy let me do a video in his house, so I cut him a little bit of a break on the on his price. But what I'm going to do in the future is anytime I have to break that bad boy out and take it in the customer's house, it's going to be an extra $50 to $75, depending on how far I have to carry it and, and, and the, the, cir the circumstances. And then it's going to pay for it. The, 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 the thing's going to pay for itself regardless. Uh, my hair is freaking wild right now I don't know if I've ever done a video uh, with my hair this long but it's getting out of control I know I said a couple weeks ago I was gonna shave it all off it's coming it's getting too hot out here for this stuff but uh, yeah last call all done table cart was a success fix that guy's oven and uh, it is Friday baby Friday Thank God. I'm gonna go home. Maybe have a couple cold ones. Chilly chill. Do some honeydews this weekend. That's gonna be it. But uh, thank you guys for watching as always. Like it, comment it, subscribe it. Go get you one of them hydraulic table carts. You better be able to lift something heavy if you go get one. Because if you can't lift that thing, you, it's going to be worthless to you. But uh, go in there and see if you can pick up the one that's in there. And uh, like it, comment, subscribe it. Later.